Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will study history of environment or environmentalism. We are living in the environment ever since we are born or the first person was born. Then why is this history of environment? We are living ever since. Then what is that history of environment? It should be continued. History of environment means that ever since it is realized to protect our environment since it has limited resources and it is being polluted by human beings so it is basically the realization of the fact that we have to protect and conserve our environment in order to be safe in this we will study environmental movement Stockholm conference 1972 our common future the earth summit Rio summit 1992 Agenda 21, World Summit on Sustainable Development 2002, Agricultural Revolution, Industrial Revolution and its Impact on Environment, Millennium Development Goals and Sustainable Development Goals. These all are the steps by which it was realized in all these conferences, it was realized that environment should be safe for us. The history of environment goes back to environmental movements which was the start of people realizing about environment. In phase one, it was early conservationist movement. In this uh, movement, it started after World War where people realized why is an efficient use of their natural resources. They realized that economic progress cannot compromise an environment the demand for a cleaner safer and more beautiful environment that would enhance the quality of life could not be satisfied by the free market by the items but by environmentalists that turn towards political action as the means to protect the earth in phase two it was modern environment movement modern environment movement was after the effects of various uh, accidents like killer smog there were many accidents like love canal tragedy in 1940s accident at bhopal killing 6000 people and plastic waste buried in the seas and oceans there were oil spills like Pacific gar garbage patch, oil spills like Alaskan oil spill from Exxon Valdez tanker in 1989, Pacific gar garbage patch in North Pacific Ocean, and there was a Gulf War in 1990s where 600 oil wells were set on fire as part of the policy by retreating military forces. like every happening has a background story similarly there were movements that had incidents explained before were their background story so these accidents or in incidents gave rise to movements such as green belt movement back to land movement land care movement car free movement narmada bachao andolan sales of island karachi Greenpeace movement. There were many other movements as well. These incidents or accidents led to movements, environmental movements, and these environmental movements le uh, lead to, led to the international realization of environment, leading to many international conferences. The first in, uh, international conference on environment was United Nations Conference on Human Environment, 1972. It is also known as Stockholm Conference. This was the first United Nations Conference on the Environment as well as the first major international gathering focused on human activities in relationship to the environment and it laid foundation for the environment till action at an international level. The outcomes of Stockholm Conference was the establishment of UN Environmental Programme 
this was a great achievement because before that there was no environmental agency program or any organization that was concerned with environment second the establishment of environmental fund there was like there was no organization so there was no fund allocated for environment as there was no fund no organization there was earlier there was no action plan or there was no resolution after this stockholm conference these four steps were taken that program was developed fund was developed action plan was devised and a resolution about environment was taken so stockholm conference was very important conference which led to these outcomes do you think that after stockholm can conference it was realized that environment should be protected so environment movement should stop then why didn't it stop it didn't stop because that conference was very initial and it didn't address the matter afterward and it wasn't adequately addressed so our common future 1987 was 10 years after the united nation conference on human environment it has three basic uh, objectives first was the invention of sustainable development second was revolution was the reinvention of multilateralism multilateralism means that participation of most of the parties in previous it wasn't participated by every country but in our common future the more parties were interested next is third revolution was the invention of corporate social responsibility social responsibility realized that not only government should be responsible for making environmental acts and but citizens should also make themselves responsible educationally and for protecting the environment in 1992 the earth summit rio which is also called rio summit in 1992 led to a huge global awakening in previous conferences there was less participation but this conference led to global awakening it also led to various other treaties like un framework convention on climate change in 1992 Rio summit led to convention on biological diversity in 1992 it led to the montreal protocol on substances that deplete ozone in 1994 this convention led to combat desertification 1994 treaty so this was global awakening and globally it was realized that earth has limited resources it is not ready one it is the plan of next century it deals with sustainable development poverty elimination waste and chemical management these are its three objectives with the rio summit on or known as earth summit we already had a global uh, awakening of environmental issues then why did we need agenda 21 or another world summit on sustainable development in 2002 the reason is that in rio summit most of the developed and some of the, uh, developing countries representatives was included but we have to make everybody present at the at the conference to realize about environment to make happenings and restrictions about environmental issues so world summit on sustainable development in 2002 included the participants were represent representatives of most developed countries plus developing countries and government and non government organizations of many countries so all most of the crowd most of the representatives of all of the countries were present to make an environment sustainable and in that it was defined that sustainable development is the development that meets the needs of the present without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their own need that means that we cannot uh, use so much oil that we uh, that our future generation are deprived of it or any resource for example we cannot use much of the wood much of the things 
that cannot be replenished at a faster rate so we should be very careful that we have resources left for our children and future generations so we should use it safely and protectively it has three objectives one is eradication of poverty second is ensure sustainable consumption and production patterns third is protecting our natural resources now this summit was um, conducted in johannesburg so it led to the johannesburg declaration it was a principal outcome of the summit the declaration is a collection of general political statements reaffirming a commitment to agreement made at rio de janeiro summit and at the stockholm summit on the environment 30 years ago agriculture development we used to live a life in which people used to hunt and get their food by hunting but afterwards they decided to grow their crops and eat the food made by them that led to agricultural revolution and it had it had impacts on the environment then there was industrial revolution after growing crops to faster their growth and to getting more more and more chemicals and in production and manufacturing industry was required and this was industrial revolution industrial revolution had many impacts on environment such as resource stress population change urbanization air pollution water pollution wildlife was becoming extinct global warming in the millennium development goals they are also known as mdgs or eight international development goals that were established following the millennium summit of the united nations in 2000 fall that was following the adoption of united nation millennium declaration they were eight in number first is eradicate extreme poverty and hunger second is achieve universal primary education third promote gender equality and empower women fourth reduce child mortality five improve maternal health six combat hiv aids malaria and other diseases seventh ensure environmental sustainability eight develop a global partnership for development the sustainable development goals are a new universal set of 17 goals that were presented so here are these goals goal number 12 13 14 and 15 are known as environmental environmental sdgs 12 is responsible consumption and production 13 is climate action 14 is life below water and 15 is life on land in this video we have learned about environmental movements stockholm conference our common future rio summit agenda 21 world summit on sustainable development agricultural revolution industrial revolution and its impact on environment mdgs and sdgs i hope this video is clear if you like the video share the video and subscribe the video and until then stay curious about environment thank you